back to the feeling But I'm just too insane But when I finally found a back to my channel what I came here to do is a catch-up video and a kind of like a full detail on what's been going on in my life and because I don't talk about it all y'all know is that I just popped up back on YouTube and that was it so I'm gonna start off with why I left YouTube the first time so the first time I had the YouTube everything was going so smooth I was learning so many tricks I was getting like really creative and de decorative or decorate however you pronounce it and um it was fun it was lots of fun but what was happening was my iphone because i was doing i still am but i was doing everything off of my iphone 6s like i was recording all my videos editing all of that stuff on my iphone 6x and i didn't have a problem with that i really didn't until like youtube started acting up with it so it came to a point where like i was either struggling with icloud storage even though i was like buying storage and still wasn't saving my videos and then stuck like trying to edit my videos on velo which is like my favorite editing app if you're like starting youtube definitely use that it helps you add like captions and all that good stuff and yeah velo v-l-l-o sometimes the videos wouldn't load and then i would have to like re delete them and make a whole new video and i don't like re-recording the same topic so like once it's gone it's gone and um it was just getting frustrated and then one day i put in like so much work well i was well it was becoming repetitive like i would put in so much work on my youtube and then it wouldn't upload like it would just be stuck on processing and like it literally was making me cry like that's how serious it was like i was just like dang like why isn't this working like i'm going so hard like i finally found something i could go so hard for and it's not working and um it was just a struggle and i felt like very commercial because at the time i was working with this girl who was promoting my page and telling me how to like do my instagram and stuff and it just felt really fake and commercial i mean it was good help and good like um advice but it wasn't my vibe like it was just like like i said it was very commercial it wasn't authentic to me and it just made me feel thirsty all the time and i was having like all these thoughts that were telling me like you know it's not gonna work and i'm just being a follower and blah say blah and i'm just sitting there and i'm thinking about all these things and i'm like dang i don't think i want to do youtube anymore because i feel like a biter a follower i feel like there's always some issue where i can't upload i feel like i don't get enough support i feel like i'm not consistent enough and that was also like a big thing i was not consistent with my youtube videos like i would make them every two weeks or like every like it would take mad long for me to draw videos and now it's like I'm, I'm back to back with it i love like i love being so consistent with my youtube and like i spoke to my boyfriend one time and he was like i'm like he wouldn't even be able to do it so he was kind of proud of me like doing youtube is really different like you're showing people your world you're showing people who you are and you have to communicate with them and yeah like it was just a lot it was a lot for me to deal with and it was very very discouraging and it made me not want to do it no more like i just wasn't interested and i was running i actually had really like when i look back at some of my youtube videos because they're still in my like google photos or whatever i'd be like dang like i was really going off why wasn't i getting the support i felt like i deserved and stuff like that but it was like whatever so i quit i quit youtube and i oh also you know what before yeah I had to quit because my videos weren't loading so i took it to instagram so i was doing ins instagram videos and stuff like that but it just wasn't the same like i don't really care because then it's like when you go through instagram you get stuck scrolling and stuck on, on what other people is doing that you forget your own like you forget your own projects and you get discouraged and then it makes you not want to do stuff anymore like it's just a lot of things in life have been really really discouraging or whatever like when it comes to social media because it's all about comparison when you want to hit a certain goal and you see other people hitting that goal too i tried to keep it going you know I, I i started uploading on instagram but it just wasn't the same like my instagram was just like photo shoots and like random selfies and i didn't want to start campaigning on instagram too because then my whole instagram is going to be what was supposed to be on youtube so that's what happened i deleted well i didn't delete the youtube but i stopped youtubing and then i moved on to instagram so after 
Instagram, I just, like I said, my perception of Instagram wasn't YouTube. So I wasn't even keeping up with my videos anymore. I was just doing it randomly. It just was uninspiring to see myself go from YouTube to Instagram and then changing the whole aesthetic of my like YouTube videos and trying to get stuff to upload on YouTube was just very like upsetting, like very, very, very upsetting. And um, I look, hey yo, I look good. I took my time today, you know. I went and, well, last night I did these, but I did this today, like a little flip curl. Okay, let me stop changing the subject. So then that happened, and I was like, all right, I don't want to do this on Instagram anymore. So I took a hiatus on social media. So that's what it led to. YouTube was messing up so bad, or maybe it was my my phone or whatever, that I took I had to take a hi hiatus off of social media and all of that. So during my hiatus, I'm looking at my um, YouTube videos, and something in me is like, eh, I'm not feeling this, Jen. Like I don't want this anymore. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not like. I don't want to do this i just don't want to do this anymore it's not fun anymore or whatever so then i started judging myself and judging all the videos and i felt like all of my videos were like subliminals and it was just not the vibe like i didn't i wasn't feeling it so i deleted the youtube the whole thing like de not deactivated it, deleted which means you cannot get it back so i deleted the whole youtube and then I deleted my Finsta, one of my Finstas that I, I actually loved. It was called Baby Chanel. And it was just me being me, going through life and like posting whatever I wanted to post. So I, I probably should have been a little bit more responsible, honestly, because a lot of things that I like was working on that I deleted could have been stuff that could have been foundation. Like it could have been good foundation for me to keep going. And I didn't keep going. So now I, I fucked myself over, basically. So that happened and i was just getting tired of like the whole like sometimes social media is just too much sometimes i don't want to be on it all day because it's not it don't feel good i keep trying to tell myself like when i notice that i'm on it a lot like no the only time you go on is to post you don't need to be scrolling you need to be watching other people's pages none of that because it's not inspiring you it's discouraging you and it's like why would i want to walk around feeling discouraged so that happened and um i decided to give it all a break so i gave it all a break and a but um they be trying to get me for copyright in my area like for real like i feel cute today though like hey guys welcome to my channel this is jen the gem known as free the butterfly on youtube so you already know free your butterflies and be fly and happy and blah 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 but yeah, all right, so that's that was that tea for YouTube. Um, I can explain how I came back. I was just like, I'm made, like, I just feel like I'm supposed to be YouTubing. Like, I see so many people start their page and just leave it for, for dry. And I'm just like, I don't want to do that no more. Like, I don't want to just give up. Like, that's so whack. So, what I did was... Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so couple months later i got bored and i was like i think i'm supposed to have a youtube like fuck it i'm just gonna do it and it was so initially like i was going through a lot i was like in and out the hospital and stuff like that and um i was suffering from like intense anxiety and that's why i went on a hiatus also my anxiety was off the roof i was like diagnosed by the doctors but then i was anxious and it was affecting a lot of things in my life and um one night i just felt anxiety to the max like yo y'all be thinking of little instagram posts when they be like you chilling and then anxiety comes and everything's on fire that's real life that's really how it feels internally like anxiety comes and your whole world is crumbling for no reason but you don't realize it's for no reason because you're so like you're spiraling into anxiety like i used to think that was normal to just be anxious all the time i thought that's just how i was i, I didn't know that anxious was the word for how I was. I thought anxious was a different type of feeling, but then when I finally realized like all my life I've been battling with anxiety and and like stuff like that, I was like, wow, like this was serious. I can't believe that like my default was anxious. Like my default self was anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. And I didn't like that. I didn't really like that. So after like the diagnosis, I decided that I was gonna make a YouTube call Free the Butterfly. Now, initially, it was gonna be about anxiety and getting over anxiety and self-help and blah, 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 but 
something happened and i was just like yo i don't give a flying freak or fuck or whatever i try not to use fuck but i was just like i don't care anymore about how my con how my content comes out to people because i'm doing it for me and i always hear people telling me like oh they could upgrade me and um like i just need to be more of this and more of that but like i think i'm doing fine and i don't see anybody else in the same field as me doing what i'm doing holding that amount of confidence to sit in front of the camera and be your whole self because people be capping on social media people be capping in their pictures it's just a lot of cap and youtube it deletes all of that like it's your real life day to day like you get you about to see how i'll be living how i'll be eating not where i stay but like how my like i'm letting you into my world like fully and truly so i don't really like getting advice from people sometimes about my my channel because all it does is just makes me feel like dang you like not like you hating i wouldn't say a hater but like just sorry somebody messaged me on my phone not like a hater just you don't know what you're talking about because you're not doing what i'm doing so you're not an expert and you are literally in the same position as me so now i just don't be taking advice from people when it comes to youtube because people used to drag like even my own friends like i had a friend that was like oh from my first youtube they would be like you need to put on clothes for your videos blah 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 and it was just like what does that have to do with the content though like i did because i did a lingerie q a like it rhymes it's cute like what's wrong with it and you're telling me to put clothes on like you're not even telling me how you liked the like video what you got from it none of the conversation like no type of conversation is up like you're just hating you're just really hating but whatever and i've had people like i've had people tell me so much i'm not even gonna bring that up into into the camera because it's just corny and it's like there's gonna be more of that i'm happy that i'm dealing with it face to face now so that when i start getting hate comments and all of that it's not gonna bother me because i was already getting hate right in my face from people yeah so the new youtube um free the butterfly was mostly for anxiety it was for people suffering from anxiety people trying to get through it coping mechanisms and all of that stuff and what happened your girl got depressed so <laughs> i paused that youtube and what i was doing was like going on other sites like i went on twitch and i was like all right you're not ready to show your face but you want to talk so i was like all right i love the sims so what i'm gonna do is stream on twitch so i started streaming on twitch and playing the sims and getting used to like hearing my voice and talking and just you know being myself and then um i made another finsta and that one was for me to just like it was when i first started my finsta i would get high and then like mad thoughts would come to my mind and i would just talk about it on my finsta and then um what happened after that so then yeah i got in i fell into depression started picking up other hobbies and when i finally came back to my youtube the first thing that i posted was about my brand that i'm working on my clothing brand and it just felt so good to come back to youtube and really like just be myself and give you guys like a glimpse of what's going on in my life and why i keep like vanishing on social media and stuff like that and letting y'all keep up with me like it don't even like for me now my youtube is like it don't i don't have a niche i don't need a niche i don't need to follow people and do the same thing over and over and over and over and over in videos like people want to see different things they want to see you act different ways and like get to know you in different like areas of your life if i keep doing one thing over and oh my boobs just make it pop open okay okay big gaps i see you but now nah, um yeah like it's gonna get boring and repetitive and you're just gonna it's gonna get robotic like i'm gonna be a robot like hey guys today i'm doing a get ready with me so let's do this da, 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 da. hey guys i'm doing a mukbang so da, 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 da. or hey guys i'm doing my makeup hey guys i'm doing my makeup okay get ready with me makeup like every single video is a get ready with me with makeup come on now that's like i get it but no i don't want to just do makeup all the time i don't want to just talk about anxiety all the time i don't want to just like i want it to be creative it's my world how are you telling me how to be in my own world you know so okay and um really really like two of them for all of y'all that be trying to tell me how to run my youtube and how to run my life like okay 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 just so you know but um I started recording again on a 7 now, an iPhone 7, <laughs> little upgrade and it was cute but the thing was like 
I was trying to learn how to be consistent. Sorry, y'all. That's scary. But yeah, I was trying to learn how to be consistent. So what I would do was like I would record a bunch, like I would record a video and make sure I have another one up for upload. Like I always, like if I upload a video, I have to have two more videos waiting to be uploaded so that I'm not behind and not like missing out on content for you guys. But um, so the best thing happened and it was like the sweetest thing and like it made my 2020 because 2020 was a violation for me, like super duper. And um, I'm just excited. I'm excited because this is new. Y'all going to see that a lot is about to be happening now. But um, all right. So basically, boom. So a couple months, I started getting very consistent now. Videos are coming out like nothing, like hotcakes. People loving it. I'm giving people options on my Instagram. Like, should I post a video of this or should I post a video of that? And there's two things that I would want to, you know, do. So I didn't mind asking my my people the people who support me like hey should i post this type of video today or this type of video but you're not gonna lock me down and keep making me make the same videos hell no so figured that out people started participating in like a lot of the polls for the videos and stuff like that and i was like i like this like i like bringing you guys from instagram to youtube so you can actually see who i really am because these pictures aren't like showing it and i'm also realizing like people want you to fix your page up so you can just it's like a setup for you to cap all day like a setup for you to just lie about everything that's going on in your life and i don't like that you're gonna get any picture that i feel like i want to drop you're gonna see any background that i feel like i have like i don't care no more and that's the thing once you stop caring you start coming out with stuff like it's nothing it's like it's not that you don't care about yourself or your project you just don't care about what people think like it just becomes like noise like all right bye little mosquito bye flies like this is too much i know what i'm doing i don't need your help so anywho, uh, my boyfriend, he's the greatest, like he surprised me and got me the iPhone 11 and he's like, you know, I'm tired of hearing you complaining and crying about how your videos won't upload or something's messed up or you have no space and you gotta delete stuff. So he gave me a 256 gigabyte 11 and now like my quality is up there y'all you know you, you feel me it's a little upgrade so happy he upgraded me and I don't care I'm, I'm like humble and happy and grateful for it. If he's trying to help then let him help sis let him help because he will surprise you and make you feel good but um yeah it was like the I felt like that was like the sweetest thing ever like that was like like I was, I was, I was really happy about it, and um, it was just the iconic. That was like the most iconic like thing for him to do for me, cause he knows how much I love YouTube, and he knows like how hard I be trying to go, and he be seeing me struggle, like trying to get everything together, and like it just—he's the best. But anyways, so yeah, here I am now with my iPhone 11. This is my first video with it. And I'm already loving it and I'm excited can you see the excitement in my face like oh also I did my makeup and my lashes these are my real lashes I want to start putting you guys on to like different mascaras because mascara is it I'm tired of like glue on lashes I'm just just blah like I'd rather just you feel me you feel me I'd rather just my real lashes out here with it real tea is like I live in New York City and everybody who knows me knows that. But the T is I'm out of here, boo. Like by the end of this month, your girl is peace in the Middle East, all of that good shit. Because it's time for me to get out of New York. Like all my opportunities I feel are waiting for me in a new place, in a new area. And I'm like really happy about it. So I decided that I want to do like a moving out vlog too. So you guys can see like the process and where I'm going and uh, I have to document all of that. There's so much to document because I'm moving out of New York. Like, I'm just moving all the way out of New York. It's a hot mess. COVID happened and now it's like a drag. And it's just, it's probably going to be lit down the line, but I don't really care. Like, I'm just happy that I'm not stressing about like anything right now. Right now, I mean, a lot of sad things happen to me back to back, but it, is to the point where I could find time to smile like I could find time to smile even through like 
the tragedies of life and stuff like that but um i do want to tell you guys to follow me on twitch it's gem gen gem um i think my bio says rich and simoleons because all i do is play the sims on there um i have my youtube which is free the butterfly which y'all are on right now and then i have my instagram which is gen the gem underscore underscore and then maybe i'll come out with something else but I, what i am think no i'm not gonna tell y'all what i'm thinking about doing just know maybe i'll come out with something else um well i think that's pretty much it for my little catch-up video i just want to tell you guys like why i quit youtube back in the past and like why i made a new one and like why my page is set up the way it's set up and why i'm doing what i'm doing and it's all a big master plan i guess and i don't want any help from anybody because they don't understand what it is to be in my shoes and do what i do unless you are actually like recording vlogs and you got something k excuse me subscribers i'm not gonna listen to you because you're not even in a position that i want to be in so but this is just me kind of going on a rant because i'm really tired of people telling me how to do stuff and like i'm tired of giving people the space to feel like they could tell me and i don't know it's because i'm like a like i'm a chill person and i kind of like it's just people be hating hard like and it'd be so much hate and so much underlying like hey and so much oh if i could if you let me do this i could do this for you it's like no like i don't want your help and i don't want to change how i'm doing stuff because how i'm doing stuff is a reflection of me and if it looks messy or anything like that then let my reflection show you that it looks messy and that's on period and th then leave me alone but anywho i'm happy and that's really the gist of it all and i'm so glad and thankful for you guys watching my story well not my story watching my youtube and you know engaging i love the people that comment i love the people that tell me that they just finished watching my videos i love when people send me like themselves watching me on their big ass like flat screen tvs i just love it and you guys make me so so happy like i don't know why youtube makes me so so happy but it does and i want y'all to keep up with the love because i'm sending it right back to you guys and um yeah that's on period so yeah i have a scheduled shoot so i'm gonna blast i'll see you guys later i love y'all i might record the shoot so y'all can get a behind the scene type of thing but peace out